Hello, welcome to the stream. Let me get the right window up for some more Dark Crystal. There we go. Hello, apologies for being a little bit later to start today. I um, Time got away from me a little bit, but we're here now. That's the important thing. Hello, ding ding dong, ting ting tong. Hopefully I got your username correct this time. Um, welcome. How you doing? Yes, there's, uh, hopefully, I don't, hopefully I've got the levels right. You should be able to hear sort of some ambient, ambient music in the background. I've retooled uh, some of the music I had from last time uh, to make something that hopefully is a little more appropriate for this time around. And we're going to, we're going to jump back in where we left off. I, um, I think I'm going to abandon my graphics tablet for now um, so we can get cracking on so apologies for any extra clicky mouse sounds as I do a little bit of drawing but we'll we'll try and persevere and uh, and I need to remind myself what I was doing let's have a look at the map that's a good way to do it so we're here we this is kind of are oh, you doing good great oh no worries no worries you head out when you need to it's, it's lovely to to say hello so thanks for popping in Okay, so I'm going to need to head north a bit, aren't I? Yes, I remember now. So we've got kind of like three uh, three locations that we made it to that look like they might be kind of uh, ends in their own. And then this heads off into the plains over in the west here. Um, so I think what I'd like to do to start this session off is to head uh, north for a bit. Um, and then check out these three locales. So the Land Striders one, the Hungry Creature one, I can't remember what that was, and the Podlings Village one. See what else we can do in those locations. I think that would be some useful reconnaissance. So let me get into the right window here. Head north. And look at the R. Oh, oh, look at some of these beautiful screens again. So I've got to remember that if I want to get the detailed descriptions up again, if I type look, I should, yeah, get that back up. So for example, Jen is in a thickly wooded forest where vine-like creepers hang everywhere from the branches of ancient trees. Um, so if we go north from here, we should get to where the land striders are. Yes, we need to change disc, disc two side A. Bear with me a moment. And voila, land striders. Which actually, if you're familiar with the film, that's that's quite a nice rendition of them. Um, striders. Right. So I didn't. I don't think I tried and didn't try anything here particularly before. It doesn't really look like you're going to be able to head in any other directions. But we. I'll try that in a minute. I'm going to look land striders first of all. Um, if the game tells me I don't know what a land strider is, I might be a bit disappointed. Land striders are tall, graceful beasts with long whiskers. Yeah, they look as if they could cover great distances quickly. Convenient. Um, oh, and then uh, um, it repeats the general description. Okay. Um, can I talk? Land striders. Why in the name of Agra Agra would Jen want to do such a thing? Okay. Um well they might they might be friendly. Oh you can go different directions from here. Jen's traversing a craggy brushland with low bushes and scrubby vegetation. A hot dry wind blows over the landscape from the west. Oh fascinating. Alright, well I'm going back to Oh, sorry, I need to uh, go back east. Oh, right, I'm going to mm, do a little bit more drawing then. So, same, yeah, same map layer. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to properly draw in these, uh, these locales, because it seems like, I thought they might be um, kind of like, 
uh, stop us in the journey, but it doesn't seem like that. It seems like they're going to be just part of the overall map. Well, I, I do appreciate that the landscape is sort of a, a continuous thing, even though there's not always obvious exit points, if that makes sense. Um, there's definitely in other games of this type, um, you don't have that openness, and it's not always obvious. Uh, where there's an obstruction and where there isn't. But in this, there seems to be generally no no obstructions, uh, which is kind of, if, as long as there's a, a general rule of thumb, that, that works pretty well. Let me just check where this is. Not that, where this is. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go silent for a second uh, while I do a little bit of drawing and also munch on a little bit of chocolate, if that's all right. Um, and then my voice will return shortly. So I just had to come back on uh, come back on mic for a second just to show you how large my my brush is. Um, I have to <laughs> drawn a few things since last week, um, and yeah, yeah, it's um it's maybe a little too big for my purposes at the moment. I'll go mute again for a second while I sort all this business out. There we are, let me centre center that on the map screen for you. I I think it's going to be hard to do a good rendition of the land striders at this scale, but uh, yeah, it'll do, it'll do. Um, I, I do like the design of the land striders. They're quite, um, quite unique, really. They kind of look like oversized... Um, or rodents or marsupials maybe um, but I don't, for some reason um, of all the creature designs in the um, the film uh, they seem to be the ones that are the least convincing for me somehow I'm not quite sure why that is 
Okay, so we know what's there. Can we go west so I can get to my hungry creature screen? No, you just end up in the arid brushland. Interesting. Um, so that's going to be a, a maze, I expect. And I guess, fair enough, the manual warned us there would be mazes. Um, so we're going to run into one eventually. But if we go, so if we go south from here and f flip our disc, um, but not our lids. And is he there? Fab. And then want to go east. Great. Um, so yeah, that's the the ruins, which I feel like we should be able to do something in, but um, Can I move the stone? Move stones. Jen has enough problems without having to worry about an achy back. <laughs> this is. There are definitely a lot more responses programmed into this than. I mean, it's not saying a lot really because there weren't a lot of responses programmed into. Um, Oh, brain, come on. Mystery House or Wizard and the Princess. There weren't real, it was really pre a pretty basic um, uh, parser in the face, really. Um, limited vocabulary and limited, limited responses. But um, I feel like this has has had a bit more, well, it's, certainly it's a couple of years later, and it's had a lot more experience put into it. Um, Ah, yeah, so this is the hungry creature, right? Let's get a proper description. Uh, yeah, I was I was confused as to what part of this image was the hungry creature, but I think it's the thing perched on top of the green area. I think that's what we're looking at. The green area is like, maybe like the passage through, or a rock, or something. Anyway, let's read the description. Jen is strolling in a forest of towering trees. Birds are singing, and a creature stares at him from behind a large moss-covered rock. Yeah, so that's a large moss-covered rock. This is green. That makes sense. Um, look. Creature? Creature glowers back at Jen. He appears to be very, very hungry. Um, so, is this like an impassable danger, or can I just like say, I'm going north now. Do you reckon that'll work? I'll tell you what, before I try it, let's draw the let's draw the screen. Let's get that centered for you guys. And then I will do I'll do a little bit of business here. With my now appropriately sized brush. Um, and I will once again meet myself whilst drawing to uh, Im imbibe some liquids.
Okay, let's let's try a little bit of uh, gamesmanship here, and uh, see what happens if we suggest that we feed the creature. Okay, I was hoping it might say like uh, with what, and then that might be a thing that we could do. Um, we've still got a piece of shale, several small pebbles, several small pebbles, a sling. Um, and that was kind of our backup plan if we saw a crystal eye, crystal bat, um, come flying our way. But that hasn't happened since the first, uh, our first run through where we, um, got trampled on by, uh, whatever the big crustacean things are called. Okay, well let's just go north. Yeah, you can just go north. Interesting. Jen is in a wooded area of twisted trees. To the east, a great river can be seen, flowing southwards through the forest. Um, I guess that doesn't quite line up with what we have seen in other places, but... Um, the geography doesn't, doesn't really have to make sense, actually, in this place. Alright, oh, well I'm pleasantly surprised that this area kind of just keeps going as it is. Um, I'm kind of... it's intriguing that there aren't kind of any like progress stopping puzzles so far. Because like one of the... the pretty much the very first thing you did in um, Wisdom of the Princess was head north out of the town and immediately get stopped by a, uh, a poisonous snake. Um, that you had very limited opportunities to interact with and would uh, and would kill you very quickly. Um, whereas this, I feel like that monster, that creature, sorry rather, um, that was lurking in the forest could easily have been one to uh, to kill us if we didn't have the correct response for it. Um, but no, we can just pass, pass by and then if we need to do something with it we can come back to it which to me is a better school of game design um, and perhaps also is a reflection of this um, this particular adventure being more consciously child friendly um, is what I'm thinking Really good use of the um, the Apple II's graphic capabilities, uh, limited capabilities, but still, I um, as I find as I explore more games, um, I definitely have developed a fondness for the Apple II. Um, it's a pretty it's a pretty simple, direct, and effective uh, system. Obviously, it's quite limited uh, especially by today's standards but um, it's, it's got um, it's got some power behind it and it's got charm I'm just impressed by some of the especially sort of it towards the end of the 80s just what people could do with it graphically um, to get some really effective things out of it okay so what if I look the river so I probably can't cross the river why the current is swift. So I probably don't want to go in the river. Um, what was the general description again? So that's to the east. So if I were to go west. Ooh. Jen is walking through a quiet thicket of gnarled trees. The crackle of leaves beneath his feet is the only sound he hears. Oh, 
fascinating. So this kind of operates as a as a separate area from uh, the brush land, was it? The, that you get to from the land striders area. Um, the sort of, if you were mapping out like I am in, in a grid basis, um, I think you would find it, uh, it overlapped. Well, that leg did not go well, did it? So it's just a, it's just a rough guide. It's a rough guide. You know what? I'll leave the background detail out because that actually tells us more of what we need to know, doesn't it? Um, I'm curious if we can go. We know I'm heading west, so I'll just keep heading west for now if I can. Oh, well, look at those little creatures! It almost looks as if they moved as they drew in there. There's a dry scrub brush area. This is another tiny creatures scurry under the rocks. Hmm. All right, so I'm just going to make a note of sc oh, scrub. I'm not going to do that in purple. That looks terrible. Okay, let's try that again. Scrub. Well, personally, I don't want no scrub, but I feel like the adventure might take us in that direction. Let's so from north presumably we get lost. Oh, you can't go north. Interesting. Right, we're going back. Can you go south? Oh, you can. Interesting. And that's kind of the lost in the wilderness uh, area. So if we were to go, oh, excuse me, wrong window. If we were to go north. I do go back there. Interesting. And if I were to go west. Oh! Oh, this is the way out of the scrub. Ooh, Jen's reached the boundary of a great gorge. Now that's. A beautifully effective way to do a gorge. If we compare that to the various gorges that we saw in Wizard and the Princess, um, there's no comparison really. Beautiful. Um, as he gazes westward, a harsh desert wind stings his face. Okay. Well, if the geography is anything like the film, I think the desert is close to the the palace, um, palace of the crystal. So. I don't think we want to go there yet. We've, we haven't even met uh, Kira or, um, or anybody else, let alone Orgra. Okay. So let's uh, let's reel it back in a bit. I'm going to draw these scrub screens. Because I think they do kind of connect up, actually. So I think if you went any direction from the land striders, you'd end up in one of these scrub areas. And I think it funnels you in this direction. So that's it's kind of a helpful thing to know, really. I um I appreciate this probably doesn't 
work for everyone, but this um, it's kind of just sort of taking it one step at a time, having a certain amount of trepidation, I must admit, um, but knowing that you're uncovering things, finding new locations, new information, new connections between things, is um, it's quite a nice quite a nice style of gameplay that kind of doesn't really exist now that uh, for the most part sort of screen by screen um, games don't really exist games mostly exist in a continuous space usually 3d space these days um, which has its own, its own advantages obviously um, but doesn't have doesn't have this kind of um, metered out sense of exploration um, and this unpredictability as well that's kind of an unpredictability that can be uh, unreliability um, as is the case many times in adventure games but um, also the it can also be filled with the joy of exploration and discovery um, and I think that's what it's one of the things that adventure games have done done well Yes, I'll do for that screen. Should we look at the rocks? Nothing unusual there. Should we look at the creatures? Many new and unusual creatures. Look at the brush. Does that work? No, it doesn't know what brush is, so I guess I'll call it brush land. The land of brush. No, it's, it's just arid. It's just arid. What more can you say? That's fine. So I'll go put this one in. I think this is one of my favourites, actually. One of my favourite screens. Because there's, um, it's deceptively simple, isn't it? But um, very effective. Effective use of, um, of the colour change between the orange and the blue to create shadow and depth. It's uh, very expertly done, I'd say. I'd be interested if I could find out who um, who contributed to the graphics for this. I'll do a little bit of digging and see what I can find out because um, I think it's somebody who, who knew what they were doing. And I would certainly be interested to see what other things they worked on. Especially if they did any more Apple II work because um, this is superb. Justice, but never mind. Okay, that's a very loose approximation there, but it will do. It'll do. Let's look at this chasm. Chasm looks steep and extremely dangerous. Well, let, I guess we guess we best not head there then. Um, so I'm assuming we can't go west. 
Should I save the game before? Yeah. I'm gonna save the game under uh, a sea for chasm. Um, I do want to continue. I do want to save in slot C. I do want to quickly insert that save game disk and press return. And then I want to exchange the disks again. Um, press return. Go here. Let's just try going. Let's see what happens. Chasm is too wide for a gelfling to jump across. See, it's looking out for me. I feel like other games would have let me perish at that point. Oh! Jones reached the eastern edge of a deep chasm, on the far side of which lies a vast barren desert. More details. Nice. There's kind of a stone on the graphic there. Is that something I can. Can I get a stone? I'm gonna have. Oh, okay, no, apparently not. I'm gonna have all sorts of stones by the end of this adventure, by the looks of it. Stone in all forms. But that kind of that kind of works for the dark crystal, I think. There's quite there's quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of stone work in it. Okay. Uh you know what? I started the um, the two double-sided disc size of the game is starting to make a lot more sense now. I've um, begun to explore the. Uh, the extent of it a bit more. But this this area that we have access to after the kind of the initial uh, part of the game is pretty big so far. It's probably you know because I progress has been unimpeded largely by by many things I'd say that um, we've probably been to nearly as many screens as were in the wizard and the princess in total maybe excluding the um, oh dear sorry Jen I've squished you up in the you look you look very uncomfortable in that corner there but that'll do that'll do um, as many screens as there are on Wizard of Princess, excluding the Wizard's Castle, I would say. Great, can we go west? No, that's fair enough. Can we go south? Gosh, we can. To then come to the edge of a deep, dark chasm. To the west beyond the chasm, you can see a forbidding desert stretching to the horizon. We get slightly different details in each of the... And different perspectives in uh, in each of the screens, which is is nice. Um, it makes the environment feel a lot richer than it would ha have been if things had been more repetitive. I feel. Interesting. So. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back and see what on earth is going on in this area, I think. Um, oops! Wrong colour. Okay, so... Just a sort of a silhouette there. Yeah, that uh, gives you the uh, the essence of what I'm going for. I think. Uh, once again, can't go west, right? No, too wide to jump across. Can we go south though? Can't go south. Good to know. Thank you. Cool. So that's kind of the extent of this. So at the moment, I kind of don't have 
many hints as to where to go. I know in the film, so using some knowledge from outside the game, that Augra uh, lives in a mountain, on, on a mountain, in her orrery. So I'm not quite sure if that is oh, interesting. What can also be found in this game? Hmm. Uh, let's go back uh, east here. So this is the brush. So let's start backfilling the brush if we can. You see that all right? Yeah, okay. cool. Um, yeah, so can we go north from here? No, so I'll just mark that off. Whoops, I don't see. Hold on a second. That's how we like it. So we're going to go south, yeah. And this is the one which is kind of the maze, I think. Um, but only kind of the, a partial maze. Uh, one that unless you pick the right direction, you... Um, oh, we did it again. Apologies for that little loud burst there. I was, I was drawing in the wrong place. Um, yeah. Uh, it might be one of those mazes that is just sort of a single screen um, and until you pick the right direction you just get the same screen again and again. Okay, so from here, um, can we, we, yes, if we go east, that's how we get to the land stripes, right? Yeah, cool. Um, so I'll put that on, I'll probably put that as a, as an arrow saying west from the land stripes there, does that make sense to me? And then if I, oh, no, it went that way. Um, you know what, let's, actually, yeah, let's try the other directions from here. So if we were going, oh no, because I went east, so that makes sense. That goes to, so east definitely goes to, the hungry creature, because we just did that by accident. So I'll write that on there. And then if we go north, that's, Oh, no, it does match up. How strange. I could have sworn we'd gone multiple directions and ended up in the brush before. But maybe I um, I uh, misunderstood what was happening. Can we go north from here? No. Okay. So I think this might be the northerly limit of the map now. Let's just head like east to where we're beside the river. Um, let's see if we can go north from there. No, okay. Um, the game has been kind to us, so I'm going to try going east. Um, but it probably say I can't go in there if I 
current is much too swift to permit that. Cool. Okay, so we found a, we found a border now. It's not quite the border that I thought we'd find. Which might mean that the Podling village is out on its own and we can't go in any other direction from there. Because that would kind of look what uh, the map is doing there. Um, and it seems like the chasm is maybe something we need to think about um, overcoming. But I don't know how. Right, so this is, let's go south to the kind of officially lost in the brush uh, locale. So if this is not a main screen, then if we go west, we should get to one of the chasm edges. And we do. Well, why did I think that was a maze then? Hmm. I must have completely misinterpreted what, what I was seeing there. No, that's fine. So it's just a it's just a straight grid. Fab. Well, that means there's a little bit to fill in here. Uh, probably just one more screen of brush. One more screen of brush, I reckon. Um, so if I go south and then east. Yeah, arrow brush land. Yeah, no, it's right. And the bush land, there are scrubby bushes, bushes and crooked little trees everywhere. Uh, look, bush. Bushes are low and thorny. Hey, at least I got a response. Um, what's also interesting to me is the um, the scarcity of uh, things to pick up. Um, so far there haven't been I guess have there been any puzzles really there's there was the just trying to navigate where to go to get to the master the mystic at the beginning and then where to go from there where we literally stumbled over a cliff um, and yeah but not not really a puzzle, possibly with the crystal bat, although um, we had to reload um, and haven't had to solve that one since, which is interesting. Which might be a case of, uh, of it being like the um, one of the snake encounters in Wisdom the Princess, uh, which is kind of a puzzle that you can solve to get yourself out of trouble, but you can also, if you're lucky, just avoid it. Um, and we might be lucky on this playthrough. Who knows? Uh, so I'm assuming we can't go south from here. No, because that would violate the terms of the map. So a bit of purple X there. All right, I think we found our. Because we we tested all those edges, didn't we? So the only place we haven't been to to test anything out is the. Um, it's the Podlings village really so let's go head back there so I am currently here so I just need to keep heading east I think until I can head east no more Oh, that was quicker than I thought. So let's get north here. 
So, quick disk change once again. I mean, this is a very nice, um, very nice screen as well. I've done really well to capture the um, the character designs, I think. So, if I look, house. The village is comprised of houses fashioned from the seed vessels of giant gourd-like plants. Jen is in the pod village. Look, pod people. They're called this game, aren't they? Okay, you get the same thing. Um, talk people. The villagers tell Jen that the phrase pod people is a mystic rendering of I'm gonna try this again. A popia poi pidia pi No I failed. The name they use among themselves. Roughly translated it means master gardeners who live in bulging plants. Can I go house? Pod people have not invited Jen into their homes. Interesting. Can I go west from here? Oh, I can. Interesting. Okay. Can I go east then? Oh wow. Okay. Yep. New, new exciting areas. Okay. Well, I'm gonna uh, do a bit more drawing then. In that case. So, I'll read this description actually before we do anything else. Jen is treading through a forest that has grown here, undisturbed for centuries. The silence has a soothing effect on him. There's a, um, there's kind of a tranquility and a, um, a loneliness to this game, I think. So I need a new, a new rectangle. I'm actually really surprised that this um, the area continues um, in this direction as well. I guess I shouldn't be because I haven't got much of a clue um, what to do uh, in the places we have been so far. You know what? I think this is this is a really nice image as well. This screen. It's a really nice um, rendering of Jen and the uh, the space around him complements the uh, the description of the area as well. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, that'll do for that screen. So potentially, we could go off um, north and south and, and all over the place from here, which would um, to be interesting. Oh no, that's that's east. East that direction is east. Remember? There we go. Um, fab, and you can go west to there. So I'm, I'm, I think I must just have assumed that some of these places were cut off from each other when, when in reality they weren't. And there do seem to be um, quite a few areas where there's not really anything to do. Um, potentially there, there won't be anything to do. I feel like we will definitely come back to the Podling Village. Um, when the context of, of what we're doing has changed slightly. Uh, for example, but 
I feel like some of these um these forest areas um haven't really been designed for anything other than passing through and for their um their atmosphere, which is um so far in this game, um a very significant aspect. Let's just do some house, some house shapes just to give this a little bit more context. Oh, I've just got it. They live in gourds, so that's where they're pod people. Just got it. That's why it's that's why it's valuable to draw things. Okay. Um, So can I go north from here as well? The foliage in that direction is so thick that Jane cannot get through it. Nice, so you get a, 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 a contextual reason for why you can't go in that direction. Okay, well that cuts off a few opportunities there, but makes sense as we're kind of at the north of this this map anyway. Well, let's carry on in the one direction we know we can keep exploring. Through here, through the silent old forest. Can we go north from here? We cannot. Can we go south from here? We cannot. Can we go east again? Oh, you can't! Oh, that's a... So this... That's strange. So you can't go in any direction from here, apart from that. So not... Let me double check. I haven't missed out a direction. So that screen's just by itself. How strange. Well, I don't know what we're going to do next, friends. We're going to load 1B up, we'll perhaps head a little further back into the, uh, the forest. So this is where we got the sling and saw the crystal bat before, and we can't, definitely can't go further east from here. gonna pause for a minute I think just to have a little think and get myself a, a drink um, and I'll be back with you in a moment um, I will pop me right back in the chat there um, let me get some kind of smiley uh, that's, that's an appropriate smiley face let's use that one Okay, I'm gonna go get myself a drink and um, have a little think about what we might do next. If um, if you're watching along and you have any suggestions, then um, 
I'd love to hear them actually. That'd be great. Thank you. And yeah, like I said, I will be back in a moment. I'll just leave everything as is with the background music playing and uh, I'll catch you in a minute. Hello, I'm re-beveraged um, and I've had an idea. I'm most certainly not going to be the first person to express this uh, this thought, but um, part of the um, the experience of playing adventure games, old old style adventure games, is that you're kind of part of playing them is stepping away from them, and thinking about them outside that as well, because that's when um, new ideas will come to you. It's kind of your your brain um, working away at a problem and coming up with a solution. Um, in the middle of nowhere. Um, that's uh, it's kind of a, an experience that you don't get with a lot of video games, I don't think. Only ones with uh, significant um, puzzle elements in them, I'd say. Um, and it's a nice, it's kind of a nice thing, because it's um, not just a game you're playing in the moment, it's an experience you're taking with you as well. Okay, so my idea now I've um, philosophized a little about adventure games is to find those land striders again I don't know if this is um, jumping the gun so to speak oh excuse me wrong window um, I think we need to go north and change disc again is that right? yes it is Okay. There we go, uh, let's send it there on some land strangers there. Right, so we, as a Gelfling, apparently Gelflings uh, would be unable to jump the chasm, which I think is a subtle hint that a land strider might be able to. So, can we, uh, that's not how you spell it, can we ride a land strider? That's not how you spell a land strider either, thank you. Thank you, uh, brain and fingers for your amazing coordination. The land striders keep their distance and won't let Jen approach them. Ah. Okay, so I think we do need to ride the land strider. Um, but at the moment, I don't know how. Um, So let's um, have a look at this creature, because this seems to be a more interactable uh, creature than some that we've encountered. So I tried to feed creature, didn't I? Um, can I get creature? <laughs> no, game. Game does not uh, think I should do that. Okay. Um, here's the river. Uh, if I look at the river, is there anything wide and the is swift? Can I get a fish? A fish could feed. Jen doesn't know what a fish is, which kind of is appropriate because yeah fish uh, as we know they probably don't exist in this world so that's good um uh get water there's nothing that will hold water so that kind of suggests that we might be able to at some point maybe i've missed something somewhere um scrolling back across the map for uh, an idea of what we might be able to do. There's not much in in these places, is there? Um, let's go back to the frog one. Um, oh, I've just realised, though. So, so one. Um, one extreme of the map here we've got the uh, 
the impassable place that is um, so full of noise that Jin can't bear it. And then there's the profound silence place over here. That's a nice, um, a nice little dialect up there. Okay. Um, how do I get to this frog place? I think I need to go south a bit. And south a bit. Oh, I changed my disc. And uh, look at the wall. Hmm. Look at the ruin. Oh yeah, if I try and get the creeper then uh, I'm told this is uh, the Dark Crystal and not, um, not Tarzan, which was quite amusing, I seem to recall. There we go. Can I get a creature? Creatures bound away from Jen when he tries to approach them. They are much too swift for him to catch. Okay. Um, that's fair enough. So from here, I need to go uh, west. This is also one of my favourites. It's a really good um, colour contrast and sense of perspective. Very nicely done. And then this guy is one of my favourite creatures, definitely. It's the um, sort of subsidiary creatures that um, haven't directly come from the film. Um, aren't perhaps the best rendered in these screens. But this frog-like thing, it's the bee's knees. Okay, so can we go lily pad? It's not going to know lily pad, is it? Oh, Jen does not seem to have it. Can I get lily? Do you know lily pad? The water lilies have very thick stems. Try as you might, Jen cannot tear one of the pads loose. Interesting. Well, that's interestingly detailed, isn't it? I'm not sure what I would do with a lily pad. That does seem to be an item that we can get, which is interesting. Can I uh, cut the lily pad? Using a sharp shale, Jen cuts the lily pad away from its thick stem and takes it with him. Oh, amazing. Okay. Well, that was the thing I didn't know I could have. Can I get water with my lily pad? No. Hmm. Um, can I talk creature? Oh yeah. Um, that was my the <laughs> joke about Doctor Doolittle. Can I get the creature? The frog-like creatures disappear into the water before Jen can catch them. Hmm. Well, I'm glad we worked out something about the lily pads. They do seem to be a conspicuous part of the landscape, so that's good. Um, what else? I'm thinking what else is uh, conspicuous around here. So we've got we've got a shale, presumably still sharp shale, large lily pad, several small pebbles, and a sling. What could we do with that? Could we use the 
lily pad like some kind of boat and go down the river on it. I think we could try to. Okay, how do we get back to the river? Um, is it there? Yeah, the river is well described for something that might only be a, um, a reason that you can't go in a certain direction. This, I think this screen had an interesting description, didn't it? Dennis wandering through a primeval forest. Strange creatures peer down at him from their perches. Um, can I climb? Climb what? Uh, climb tree? Then comes the nearest tree, sees them in special and returns to the ground. Well, at least they indulged me. I think I think we tried that before, perhaps in, perhaps in this location, perhaps in a different one. Um, we need to change disk again. Interesting. Um, I guess it would have been nice if this um, this area could have fit on um, one disk, but I suspect this is going to be more probably more of an open world type of game um, by the looks of it. So one thing that um, does give me cause for concern is that uh, things you can obtain on in previous games they've been pretty obviously drawn in as separate items on screen that's kind of their uh, their identifier but that's not really the case in this game because it, there's only been one thing that's drawn on as a separate item uh, to later be removed from the graphic and that was the sling everything else we've obtained we've had to work out through the context which is more like your traditional text adventure um, kind of format. So I... have I missed the river? No, I haven't, not yet. Um, so that coupled with the fact that there appear to be areas that you can't get back to, like the mountain top where we live with the mystics, and that's the only place where we could get the shale, which we've already needed to get a lily pad. So I wonder if... Um, I wonder if there's going to be great opportunities in this game to to miss the things you need um, if you're not sufficiently curious about everything um, and I'm afraid that I will be insufficiently curious uh, I'm going to use the lily pad as a what? as a boat um, how does Jen wish to use it? interestingly worded game Jen wishes to sail the lily pad. Jen doesn't know how to sail. Um, ride? Rise. Rise of the lily pad. Amazing. I'm going to write that film, but before then, let's continue playing this game. Uh, right. Lily pad. When they were all good, Jen wanted do such a thing. Oh, you can ride the... it knows ride because you can ride the land strider, that makes sense. Um, hmm. Alright, it's time to put thinking caps on. I'm going to mute a second while I glug a bit more drink.
Okay, so bear, bear with me a moment here. Um, so we know that um, we probably can't sail down the river in a on a jolly old lily pad, but could we? Oh, no, that was my activity. Uh, can we use it? as a uh, makeshift parachute to get to the bottom of the chasm. It's big and strong. Um, now when you say how does Jen wish to use it, so is that something that you'd say for um, everything? Yes, it does. Um, do you know parachute? Uh, Jen doesn't know how to parachute. Fair enough. Uh, there's clearly a character limit there. Um, can you climb down? She was the chasm are too steep for climbing. So hold lily pad. Jen doesn't see it here. Oh. Um, can I? jump in which direction does Jen wish to go can you jump west no can you jump down can you jump up hmm can you jump chasm? Chasm is too wide for a girlfriend to jump across. I feel like the land strider is the solution to the chasm conundrum here. Um, I'm not quite sure what the lily pad is the solution to. Unless the creature is hungry for lily pads. Maybe. I guess we can try giving things. Uh, that worked in previous games. You could just uh, there was a. Uh, in fact, this it kind of has echoes of um, kind of the middle section of Wizard and the Princess for me, but feels very different. Although mechanically, it's um, it's quite similar. Um, and, and in that, we needed to feed a parrot something. Okay, where oh, where am I? Am I? Oh, I'm just one screen away. Brilliant. So let's go south. And I think it's on the same disc. Yes. Okay. Um, give a lily pad. Jen doesn't know how to give. Interesting. Feed lily pad. So it knows feed, doesn't it? Um get creature. Does that work? No. Um, use sling? How does Jen wish to use it? Interesting. Well, given that with creature? With pebble. Ah, oh, so I think if you say with anything, uh, let's just test this by going out of a room and back into a room. So just enter room. If I say with jail, are you going to say how does Jen wish to use it? Yeah, because it's picking up on the item, so more so than the uh, uh, the conjunction there. Um, interesting. Well, what should we? Um, hmm. What should we attempt here? 
Um, I don't know if I can just try use the lily pad, I suppose, because, um... No. Cut creature, that would be unfortunate. There's anything we've done. Yeah, you're right, game, you're right. Um... Yeah, so I think if um, if there isn't a uh, a solution for what we what we're thinking of in this area, then you don't get much of a response um, to that. Okay. Um, well, curious. So, tentatively, I guess I'll sum up where, where I think we are. So I think we need to go across the chasm. That, that seems to be, be the only way of positive progress. Um... Um, and that probably involves riding a land strider here. Um, but if that's the case, then we need to get the land striders to be more friendly to us. Um, oh, you know what? Now I'm thinking about making a harness out of vines and a lily pad. All right, let's try that. Uh, so, where are vines? Let's try going south, please. Okay, so not this one. So, I think the one to the west had, uh, had vines, right? Find like creepers hang everywhere from branches of ancient trees. Okay, cut creeper. Jen can sever no vine before it's time. Interesting. And then if I try and get a creeper, <laughs> this is the dark crystal, not Tarzan. Okay, eh, fair enough. What if I try to use my lily pad in the vicinity of the um, land striders? Um, you know what? Let's. See if saddle is a word. No. Okay. Um, so I think my idea was ju just just my idea. No. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Um, what if I? You know what? Just having a little a little memory here. Let's save. Uh, Let's save this game under the same slot because I don't think we've done anything that uh, would cause us uh, any problem particularly. So I'll just uh, make sure that happens and then finish my thought. Here we go. Um, my thought is that remember last time when we encountered a crystal bat? That only happened after we'd looked at the sling, which indicated it had been made by another... Yes! Another gelfling has just appeared. The sling, a weapon for hurling small rocks, appears to have been made by gelfling hand. Jen is on the hill of the Landstriders. To his horror, Jen sees a crystal bat hovering overhead, his crystal eyes staring directly at him. So, can I kill the bat? 
With what? With sling. The bat is too quick and flits aloft untouched. Mm. Um. Ah, oh, then it's gone. So you get one chance. So now I suspect we're going to meet a grizzly fate again. But what if we get to the podlings first? Can they save us? Hope. Let's hope. Yeah, so that is the trigger. Okay. But that might... Possibly... Oh, did hear the beautiful clattering sound before him looms a Gartham. One well, of the missing beetle-like warriors who served the Skeksis. Kill Gotham. Too late, a powerful claw flashes out, and Jen is in the clutches of the dreaded Gotham. With the capture of the Gelfling, the last hope for the fulfilment of the prophecy dies. The crystal, unhealed, remains darkened, and at the hour of the great conjunction of the three suns, the rule of the evil Skeksis is reconfirmed forever. Would you like to play again? Yes? Okay. Um, prefer to restore my game, but there we go. Let's, uh, I'll do as you ask. There we go. Okay, so that's another. That's an avenue for progress. I don't know what we need to do with that crystal bat, though. It definitely it responded to my suggestion to kill the crystal bat with the sling but it was too quick so what could I hide is hide a thing I could do hmm so knowing that I can trigger it at a time of my choosing do you think I should do it on the screen where there is a hungry creature? That might be something to try, might it? Okay, let's uh, restore the game. I'm going to try that. As if, so I don't know what the sling is for if it's not to kill the bat. but um, And it's um, kind of one of those contentious puzzles, I suppose where if the only way to solve it is to know what happens if you fail um, and the context that triggers the event um, and then make that happen in a certain place. It's still a, still a puzzle but it's kind of outside the narrative of the game and you wouldn't know to do that first time it occurs because you probably do what I did and um, look at the uh, sling as soon as you got it. Nice, so it knows I need to change my... Oh, no, let's do this way around. And then do a little swap there, and then press return. Fab, so I think I've got a plan, and I need to go one screen away to do it, and I don't have to change discs. Um, so, in anticipation of this exciting event, I'm going to just uh, go silent for a second just to to drink and eat a little bit of cake and I'll be right back. Okay, so first of all, uh, let's have a look at our other inventory items. Let me if I remember what they are. Ah oh as soon as you look at anything in your inventory a crystal bat appears. Oh interesting. To sorrow Jen sees a crystal bat hovering overhead. Its crystal eye is staring directly at him. Um, feed bat. No, uh, feed creature. Hit bat. With what? Oh, it's gone. Um, interesting. You know what, I'm going to look at the rest of our items, knowing that I'm now doomed. Couples around the smooth. Interesting, so the first thing you look at is what triggers it. Oh yeah, 
And it's just three entries after that that you get Garthand. Hmm. So the hungry creature wasn't the solution to a puzzle, which is kind of a shame. Um, I like that the, I, th I think the graphic of the bat is different in different contexts. So it might just be a, um, hide. Too late. So, I've got a couple of ideas, so I'm thinking to get out of the bat conundrum. I mean, we don't ever have to trigger the bat conundrum, technically, um, but I feel like that might be the trigger to something that is useful to us. Um, so, I'm thinking the solution is either trigger the bat on the right screen, and to be honest, I don't know in context what that's going to be. Or um, have the right thing prepared. Uh, to deal with it. Um, and I don't, don't know what that would be either. So let's. Um, I think we've had some good ideas, but they haven't borne fruit by and large. But that's okay, this is an adventure game, remember? And then change that to. The, no, sorry, change that to the hat. There we go. Uh, press that, and I think that's all good. Yes, it is. Um, hmm. I've got a couple of ideas because, well, hang on, let's see. I'm going to turn back to the manual because there was that, that quite long introduction that gives some hints. Um, and let's just see if there's anything about this part of the, um, the story because it kind of strays into the present as well as the past. So, crystal bats carry lenses of artificial crystal. The bats sent images of all they saw back to the crystal in the Skeksis castle. Um, is this about Jan? What does it say about? I feel like this mentioned Kira at some point, but maybe I misremembered that. I'll give it a better read later on. I think. Yeah, it's not much about the present. So, Landstriders prevail against Garthim. Oh, so maybe we just need to stay on this screen. That's a that's a theory we can. Attempt? Okay, so if I uh, look at the lily pad, we haven't looked at that yet, I don't think. Large lily pad has a thick, rubbery feel. Hmm, thick, rubbery feel. Nothing happened. That's interesting. What if I look shale? Shale is very sharp. Oh, this is weird, so nothing is happening. The weapon for hurling small rocks appears to have been made by Gelfry Hand. Ooh, I'm confused then. Because.
if that's not going to trigger something, then... I can't test that theory. Intriguing. Yeah, so um, uh, I kind of lost track with whether I said this out loud or not, but some other ideas before uh, trying it in the presence of the land striders and staying there occurred to me was that um, maybe we could try it. If this is a way to meet up with Kira, who might be able to save us from the uh, crystal bat, um, maybe the Gelfling ruins could be a place to go. Or maybe this conspicuous uh, forest area, silent forest area, could be somewhere to go as well. Um, I'm not sure. But if it's not going to work now, then I'm a little confused. Yeah, that's confusing, isn't it? Um, and we've done... so it can't, we can't just accidentally save it after triggering it, because... Um, more than three inputs have gone by, haven't they? How very odd! What if I restore the game again? Um. Maybe it's... So maybe it's triggered by looking at items, but it's still then randomised, so it won't happen every time we look at an item. Which is um, harder to uh, harder to work around, I'd say. Hmm. Cool, so we're back here. What if I look at my sling now? Um, so this sling I didn't make was made by Gelfly Hand. Interesting. Um, Alright, I'm going to try going to the ruins when looking at stuff. Try and look at the sling now. What if I look at the shield? What if I look at the lily pad? Can I listen? Can I smell? Can I taste? Is it gonna go? Ugh. Yeah, it is. Um. Oh, well, I'm really confused because I don't know what to do if that doesn't trigger the uh, the event. And if I can't predictably trigger the event, and the event is what I need to progress in the game, then that could be troublesome. Um, it could also be a bug potentially, couldn't it, if it doesn't um, work when it's supposed to. For the dark the trees of this great forest grew straight and tall, now they are twisted and deformed. Um, look, mushroom. Can see a mushroom. Mm, look, fungus. I mm, know what fungus is. Climb. Climb tree. Then climbs the nearest tree, sees nothing special, then returns to the ground. Jen is in our forest. Um, well, if I can't get the thing to happen that I want to happen, I'm uh, a little confused. Frankly. So, C, 
That was the most recent one, right? And then save game disk. Yeah, like here. All right. Um, look. Shows on the hill of the land striders. Two long-legged beasts are grazing here. I talked to land striders. Is pretty sure I tried this already, didn't I? Um, it's confused why I would do that. Um, go, land striders, go. No, it's confused by that. Listen. What if I look at my sling? Hmm. What if I look at my sling? Yeah. What if I look at my pebbles? What if I look at my shale, though? But what if I look at my lily pad? Well, that's kind of, that's kind of been out of uh, ideas for now. So I'm not sure if something's gone a little bit awry, or whether the game's more randomised than I thought it would be. What if I restore the game to uh, B? Save game disk. Uh, so I need side one B. That's the wrong disk. Oh my goodness, it's the wrong disk. Thank you for letting me know. I did go for a while in um, Wisdom the Princess with the wrong disk, and that didn't. That just left me very confused. Um, great. So what have we got at this point? A sling, several small pills, and a piece of shale. Okay. Um, I'm gonna uh, get the. Where's the pond from here? One north. Okay. Let's um. Let's redo that so we have an um. lost anything. Um, go back to the land striders. Let's see if we can trigger that um, that crystal bat appearance again. So, let's look at the sling. Yeah, nothing nothing doing, is there? What if I look at the shale? Oh. Interesting. Fat. Uh, lily pad. So I don't think we've. I don't think what we've done has been of any great variance um, to to make sure it doesn't happen. So I think it must be a a randomised thing, and we were just kind of lucky that the two times we wanted it to happen, it did happen. Ah. Oh. That's weird, it just randomly appeared here after having looked at things. Mmm. Okay. Well, let's go. Um, I guess I can try. Hit bat. With what? With. Pebble? Bat's too quick and flits aloft untouched. Can I catch bat? No. Interesting. Well, hungry creature, you won't much use to me, were you? So I can try going back um, 
west now, right? And just wait here. Well, when I say wait here, I mean uh, enter some commands. Okay, Jen hears a fearful clattering sound. The flame looms agarth him. The missing beetle like warriors who serve the Skeksis. Um, call Land Strider? Too late. Okay. So that, we know that doesn't work. So that's fair. Um, so why did that only trigger once I'd moved? That's confusing, isn't it? So it's like it had... I mean, we were doing the same thing, but it didn't trigger that flag or whatever it is until um, we'd moved screens. Hmm. How curious. Well, I'm gonna, if I can, I'll give it a go on the uh, city ruins screen and the. Um, the dead end of the forest screens. Let's see if we can get anything out of those, and then at least that's a little bit more uh, intel on those ideas I've had. Um, I need the other disc, don't I? Let's do that. Um, and there's probably a stream for now, not least because we'll have run out of ideas. Okay, so to get to uh, where I would like to go from here is. Where? Uh, south and east. Okay. Um, yep. Uh, Treat to this again. Okay, so if I were to say, look at the sling here, nothing happens. But then if I were to go west, say, is that when the bat was in? No. Oh, this is very... Well, maybe I'm looking at it through the wrong the wrong lens um, because the level of randomization this seems to uh, seems to have wouldn't really lend itself to being solved by um, being in a particular location so it's probably more to do with having the right equipment with you is what I'm thinking but then I don't seem to be able to um, use anything I've got to influence the uh, crystal bat and I, I mean I could try hiding it's uh, well I don't, actually I don't know if, it, if that works let's try the uh, verb hide and see if that's one that's in the vocab What if I use lily pad? What for? I don't know. Um, okay. Can we hide? Oh, in which direction does Jen wish to go? So that's... Um, hmm. Intriguing. Um, ask people. Oh, it's the same as talk people. Well, that's fair enough. Um, I was expecting a, a complex conversation system. 
Um, let's get another description of things. Those treading through a forest that has grown here, undisturbed for centuries, silence have a soothing effect on him. Hmm. Play music. Huh. Play pipes. No. I'm um, just trying to work out whether there should be any music in the game. I've missed something. Mm. Well, I'm kind of out of ideas because I can't reliably predict when this crystal bat may or may not appear. It may be related to looking items, but it seems like as soon as the game knows that I um, thought that, it changed its. Uh, Modus operandi, which is not not very helpful, really. Oh, climb tree. So we tried that already, didn't we? Yeah. Probably tried just going in the river. Probably. Um. Let's try it one last time anyway. See if we can get swept away. And what is the deal with this creature? Appears to be very, very hungry. Um, give food. So give doesn't operate. Feed a lily pad. Does that make sense to it? But it doesn't say that. So feed is some. Well, if I look at this rock, this moss covered rock. Moss. Can I get moss? Even the shop shell. Jen scrapes the moss from the boulder. Ooh, okay, now we've made progress. There's a spiral carved in the surface of the boulder. Interesting. Um, oh, so we don't actually have the. Is that right? We don't actually have the moss? Please tell. Actually, you've had several small purples to say. No. Um, what about this spiral then? Jane glances briefly at the spiral, but then looks away when he fails to notice anything special about it. Interesting. I don't know what the spiral means either. Okay. Well, that was good because I, I had neglected that moss clearly. Um. Hey, that's nice. I kind of know I should be wrapping the stream up, but we did start a bit late, so let's uh, let's go for a minute more. So let's look at these ruins. I think that the spiral might be related to these. Um, look more. And look. Just wandered into the ruins of what appears to have been a Gelfling village. He's standing in front of a large wall. Nearby are two flat stones. Um, push wall. Fitting with the water is a noticeable effect. Um, draw spiral. Don't know how to draw. Make spiral. Cut spiral. Go war. Rock. No. Is it 
doesn't seem to be anything to do with that particularly. So what does the... Well maybe if I go north, I'm just going to try one last thing, I'm going to try to talk to the, the podlings again. So I wonder if um, if that was maybe a, an information trigger? I imagine the creature, maybe the creature's, the creature's just finishing off a delicious meal of Gilead moss. He beams contentedly back at Jen. Ah, so I helped feed the creature. Can't get the creature. Can I talk? No, I do not need to talk to creatures. Hmm. Well, that's a really interesting interaction. Um, but I don't don't know what it adds to anything. Um, talk people. Are they gonna... Oh! Oh no. Jen sees a crystal bat. So I think the bat can appear at any point after you've looked at your inventory, I think. I don't know what to do about it. Okay, so I know this isn't a safe place to be. What if I I'm gonna try and hide? Oh yeah, maybe if you just um evade it. Maybe if I just evade it, so if I go east. Ah uh, Um go Maybe it will follow me until I go somewhere. Okay, I seem to have lost it, but I don't know if that means I'm going to get um, nobbled by Agartham anyway. Because it just kind of disappears. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Well, well, let's leave it there for now. I will restore it. I don't think I'm in any particular danger with the um, the saves I've got of being crystal batted, um, but we don't have a solution for that, which is intriguing. Um, but we know about the spiral. And we fed the creature, so that's something we can redo. Um, hmm, something to think about. Um, and I guess if I um, if I really need to, I could consult a walkthrough just to see what we um, if there's a an extra thing we need to do in that area, or if we need to do something special to overcome the bat because just running away from it doesn't seem to to do anything either. So I'm not sure. Um, I wonder if it only appears on certain screens as well. Um, because it follows you, so you can um, get it to go to a certain place. And it's appeared on the sling screen, and appeared on the land strider screen, and appeared on the creature screen. And appeared on the. Well, it makes sense that the creature didn't eat the uh, 
crystal bat in retrospect because it's clearly uh, herbivorous. Um, appeared on the pod thing screen. So they're all within at least two, one or two of the city if the city was a place we needed to get to with the bat in tow. Um, so that's maybe something I could try perhaps off off stream um, just to see if that might be a way of progress and if that's not um, maybe I'll look some stuff up but again once again fascinated and and quite delighted with this game thank you very much for joining me if you have I'll do a quick shout out to uh, any users in chat hello people um, 0x2 hello Alexis the Nexus hello Alice Hydra all roads lead to the alien. Sophia Fox 21. And hello, Valentina Alcaraz. You're all very welcome. Thank you if you've been watching along. Um, you can catch up on the previous stream. This is our second stream of The Dark Crystal. And you can check that out on my YouTube channel um, where there are lots of other Let's Plays of adventure games, some role playing games, uh, puzzle games, and a few other things besides. Um, there's a link in my Twitch bio. Uh, my username is Catsequences, also on YouTube. Um, so you can find me there. Um, and same time next week, I'll be heading back to the world of the Dark Crystal uh, to play more of this game. So I hope you can join me then. Until next time, take care. Bye bye, everybody.